Hey guys, it's Mr. Bison. Well done, you've finished your maths A-level. If you're here to see my reaction, well, I've got some stuff I want to tell you about the stats and mechanics papers. My reaction to the stats paper is that question one to four was super straightforward and really easy. And then you hit question five and question six. I think question five and question six are some of the hardest questions that there has been across the whole of the exam papers. Uh, question five, which was a weird probability distribution one, had me thinking really hard. And question six, yeah, they decided to throw in some integration by parts just when you thought you'd finished with pure maths, it was back. And I think what was a bit disappointing about these two questions is that they took up like 22 out of the 50 marks. So hopefully you were able to do some of those parts of the questions, even if you weren't able to do the whole thing, because I think they were pretty tough. And a lot of people seem to agree with me. In a poll that's on my channel page, only 8% of people so far have said that stats was their best test. So that's a good reflection on how tough it was, whereas 56% of people said it was pure. And then when we get to mechanics, I think that mechanics on the whole was a pretty decent paper and people have been commenting on some of those polls already saying a similar kind of thing. Question one to four, really straightforward. And then question five and question six, there was one about projectiles and then a moments question. They had a little bit more pure maths in them, a little bit of like trig identities and stuff that you needed to use. So I guess the message is when you get to paper three and you think you're done with pure, it could always still be rearing its head in paper three as well. Um, just overall, I think that this paper three, according to what I've asked my subscribers on the poll, um, if I look at how many people gave it a four or five out of five, for paper one it was 58%, pretty positive. Paper two dropped down to 40%, and now paper three is sitting somewhere in the middle at around 44% for that. And if you want to look at those polls, there's a link in the description so you can go and check them out. So I guess sort of my last kind of thoughts were really around grade boundaries because people always ask me these kinds of things. Um, honestly, I think that Pure this year was more accessible than normal and I'm being careful to use the word accessible rather than easier. And I want that. I want the papers to be as accessible as possible. But I think stats and mechanics were a bit more challenging in some ways and I think that kind of balances out some of the parts of paper one that people said was easy. So I guess in terms of grade boundaries, I'd be expecting something similar to 2019 but probably two or three percentage points higher than that for each grade. It could be slightly more than that, it could be slightly less than that, but what does it matter about what I think on these grade boundaries now? Because there's nothing you can do. You can just try and relax for the rest of the summer once you've finished your next couple of exams. I know there's still a few more to go. Um, and you'll just see what happens on results day, okay? So for now, it's done. Try not to kind of live through it too much. And after this video, I hope that's the end of you looking at any stuff to do with mark schemes and things like that. So I guess I just want to say really like a, a big thanks for the support that you've kind of given to this channel. Um, if you have any younger friends or cousins or siblings that are about to start A-level maths, hopefully you'll be rec recommending Bison Maths to them. And over the next year, I'm going to be putting a lot more time and effort into Bison Maths. So do watch out for it if you've got um, younger siblings or if you maybe are doing some further study in the future. Maybe you're in year 12 and just watching this video. So I will do another video on results day just to kind of wish you the best of luck. But I hope they've gone really well and just thank you so much again for supporting me at Bison Maths. I really do appreciate it. Good luck.